So here we are at Crick. Uh, we didn't expect to come here, so I just thought I'd put a little bit on. Uh, there's three boats that I want to look at. Well, there's three boats that I'm going to look at, and um, yeah, I'd like to know what you think. And which one would you choose if, it, if, it, if you could buy one of these boats? Or if you've got one of these boats? So we have a walk around, and uh, we haven't booked to go on these great big ones, these big wide beams. So, uh, yeah, we have a walk around. And there's three boats all next to each other, which we end up looking at. We didn't intend to come here, so yeah, we just took our chances to have a look around some. So, this is the first one we wanted to look at. And this is the reason that I wanted to come down to look at this boat. So, it's uh, Anthony and Paul's from Narrowboat Life Unlocked. It's an Oakham's and it's uh, all electric, 60 foot with a cruiser stern, although the cruiser stern looks slightly semi-traditional. So here we go. Yeah, nice little seat there. Put your shoes on. Then we've got some uh, sage green cupboards with white work tops and a double sink. And I like them them taps, I don't know why, but uh, yeah, they look really useful. So a swan fridge there, which I fancied having on our boat. We might get one of those one day. We've got a shoreline at the moment. So there's a touch screen there. I imagine that's some kind of control panel. But uh, there's a green theme going on, which we like, obviously. So there's an electric hob there. I like the green behind the uh, splash bar. And the undergunnel cupboard, top quality. You've got a dinette there. And the different use of materials really makes it, like... I don't know, homely. So we're going into the living area. Sofa bed barn, sofa there. Diesel heater. And it looks super comfortable, doesn't it? And that TV, if you sat on the sofa there, it'd be like being at the cinema. Lovely. So, yeah, it's uh, all ready for them to move on. And skylights, there's two of those. They're massive. And then it's got a walk-through bathroom. Personally, I, I prefer a bathroom that's separate. That's, like you know, the old-fashioned kind of bathroom where you walk through a, a bit of a corridor. But it's got a full-size shower, which is nice. And, yeah, there's plenty of space in there. So, uh, yeah, we'll go through to the bedroom. There's lots of good use of space. And it gives you lots of ideas as well, looking around these boats. It's got privacy glass in the windows. And, yeah, it's super, like, mirrored doors. Big wardrobes there. And then out onto the deck at the front, we've got storage in them lockers. And the look at that paintwork, it's, just, it's amazing. <laughs> I wish I could have painted emerald like that. But yeah, it's a, it's a super boat, a real head turner. It's got a sparkle if you look at the paint. So yeah, this is Crick Marina. We've had a quick gander around from the bow. So it's been interesting to see how these get, guys get on with this electric boat. We'll be watching their vlogs. So solar panels, the roof is full of them, apart from where the skylights are, which I actually thought were wooden boxes when I first saw them, with solar panels on top. But no, the skylights. But I think there must be about 2,000 watts of solar. So, uh, yeah, that should keep the engine running a bit, shouldn't it, on a sunny day in the summer. So this is the next boat we looked at. This is a, a small boat. It's an entry boat. It, it's, they've got the advantages of having smaller boats because you can turn them around easier and uh, you can moor up easier. They cost less, less to run, obviously. They're, you know, they're easier for people that don't want a massive boat. So it's got a small wardrobe in the back. 
there's cupboards above the bed and under the bed and there's walk through bathroom again everything's a bit smaller and i think it's a bit more budget orientated this boat it's full electric again well, it's got everything you need you know it's comfortable for a couple or you know four people and it's it is very nicely fitted out so this one is moored next to the Oakhams. So this is into the living area. It's got L-shaped dinette which will drop down into an extra bed if needed. It's got a duck hatch or side hatch there which uh, makes it nice and airy. Solid fuel stove. It's got heating. And the, the windows actually come out. So you can remove them when it's really hot weather. On the galley, it's really big. It's loads of storage on it. Wooden worktops with electric hob. And uh, yeah, it's a uh, very good use space use of space. That's the inverters and control panel because this is electric propelled boat. And yeah, it's looking into the saloon. Wooden worktops, if it is solid wood, which I'm guessing it is, it can be, our neighbours got them and it can be hard work to keep them looking really nice. But I, I do like the look of them. So there's a, like a wet, wet cupboard, wet room, cupboard, whatever. So I think there's a, let me see if I can say it, a clarifier <laughs> underneath there. So it'll give off some heat. And then any, any wet clothes will dry quicker, won't they? There we are. So, look at this. this. I think this is something to do with the engine. It looks very complicated to me. But, uh, yeah, it was actually running the engine was. It's been running all day. That's been running all day, so that 100%. Can't see it. No, you won't see that on the phone. <laughs> uh, how quiet wow. is that? Can you just hear the water? Is that, is that, That's the engine right? bay. I think that beta marine diesel is the generator which you put on to charge the batteries up. And that's a view, view from the helm. A very nice boat. And, you know, smaller boats sometimes. Sometimes the best things come in small packages. So. This is the next boat we're going to look at. This is an older boat. This is a boat that has been refurbished. It's a 2005 wide beam, 10 foot wide. And 55 feet long. So this is all the materials that they use. And obviously the samples of the materials that they use. So yeah, it all looks interesting. And we've been told that it's a unique experience looking on this boat because it's very different. So this is what it looked like when they, they got acquired it, bought it. This is what it looks like now. Crazy. <laughs> Stunning. Very different. So the bedroom's at the stern. And it's uh, you can section it off with these curtains, which are very, very plush and obviously very expensive. The the use of different woods that you think wouldn't work actually work beautifully. There's blue leather on there, and, and that porthole was actually made by the people that made the portholes for Titanic. So everything's bespoke made, and um, you know it, there's loads of wardrobes and hanging space and. You know, the, all the touches are, yeah, quite unique. In the bathroom, look at this shower. So that shower head, because the, the boat's probably about six foot head height, they put it into a dome, which is like a, a glass dome over the top of it. So you can stand underneath it, a great big shower head on it, and a bidet. Hmm. Uh, and the toilet, obviously. There's a small sink, and... A bidet. <laughs> like, a bidet? Right, okay. <laughs> Outside the bathroom there's a washing machine and more storage. And then we go into the uh, galley. Look at this. There's a auger. 
And the the um, gentleman that showed us round says it weighs 500 kilos. That would have been interesting getting on, wouldn't it? Well, getting on board. But And then the splashbacks in the uh, kitchen galley, they're all made of glass. They're all mirrors. <laughs> so it's like being in a hall of mirrors. Everywhere you looked, you could see yourself. But yeah, it made it made it look even bigger. It's wide beams, so you know it is quite wide. And it, both have sink just there, and the worktops. I think they're probably Korean. I'm not sure, but yeah, it, everything is different. But it really goes well together. And you know, I've not been on many wide beams, but you know, look how comfortable it is. You know, with this leather dining area and the antique table and the floors made of solid oak which they had to do some sort of patch it in but they, they patched it in so it, you can't even tell and yeah it's a stunning boat wow i was yeah really impressed with it how different it is as well but look and that guy there is just is the managing director of the company so they're going into narrow boats, so if you fancy having your boat done up, maybe worth speaking to these guys. This boat actually cost £100,000 to renovate, <laughs> so you've got plenty of money. But uh, I imagine they do to all budgets. You've got a solid fuel stove there and radiators and it's a you know, proper home from home, isn't it? Like most boats are, but... But that been a bit wider and you've got a nice big uh, bow area that you can sit out at so yeah this boat's probably a similar price to the Oakham's if you was to buy it and have it all refurbed like that so that's the three boats which which one would you which would be your preferred boat so we come out and we, we spot uh, Stella and Matt from Nog in the Nog to so go and sit with them for a while we become friends with them and get an ice cream and then Heidi from Narrowboat Pirate uh, she well Matt dragged her over for a chat <laughs> meet a new dog and then we have a walk around so we had a chat to uh, Anthony and Paul from Narrowboat Life Unlocked. And yeah, it's, everyone's so friendly. It's lovely. And then, oh, uh, Narrowboat that James built, I got to have a little chat to him as well. And a lovely guy. So here we are with Stella and Matt from Nog in the Nog and Anthony and Paul from Narrowboat Life Unlocked. And then we had a lovely chat to Alan from Narrowboat Venture. And I'd like to thank you, uh, Alan, for letting us mention our channel on your channel. And we have a few more subscribers now. It's great. So we head off home and we go out on Emerald. So thank you for watching this vlog. And we'll see you very soon because I've got another one nearly ready to go on. Because this is a bit of an in-between vlog. <laughs> so you take care. See you soon. Bye.